Everybody and anybody will appreciate making an extra $100 in profit by selling just one product on Amazon. Now the big question is, how do I know what products to sell on Amazon that can pay a hundred bucks per day? In this video, you and I will be doing some math together. We will be looking at profitability and we will also dive into product research so we can find potential products that can pay us that nice a hundred bucks a day. be using helium 10 black box to help us find our winning product to sell on amazon fba that can make over a hundred dollars in net profit every single day make sure you guys install helium 10 and take advantage of my 20 percent coupon code that you see on the screen i will also link this in the youtube description below click on the helium 10 link to claim your code so let's get started with black box once you guys are inside of helium 10 go to black box amazon product research now i want to tell you that the best part about today's tutorial is that it's less intensive when it comes to product research because we are mainly focusing on monthly revenue first thing we need to do is head over to category and subcategory so my favorite category is toys and games there are many subcategories that come along with it if you guys want to choose a different category you may do so but i just like toys and games because i've sold in toys and games. Now we are going to head over to monthly revenue. If we want to make $100 per day in net profit, we got to do some math. So I'm going to take out my calculator and $100 is what we want to make per day in profit, right? So what is the monthly revenue that we need to hit in order to make $100 per day in net profit? Well, I did the math before I jumped onto this video. So if I punch in $325 in revenue per day, I multiplied that by 30% because 30% is the profit margin percentage that most Amazon sellers aim for. That equals $97.50 per day in net profit. So in other words, we must make just over $325 in revenue per day to make $100 per day. If I do the math, multiply this monthly revenue by 30 days, because there are about 30 days in one month, I have to make about $9,750 in monthly revenue to make $100 per day in profit. So monthly revenue right here, we are going to type uh, $9,750. And then the max revenue, I'm just going to put $30,000. Why do I put $30,000? Because this gives me a wider variety of products to look at when I do my search. Also, the last thing I want to include here is the weight. So I don't want to look at products over two pounds, maybe three pounds, but I'm going to do two pounds today. And the reason for that is you probably already know, you've heard me say it before, that the heavier your product, the more Amazon FB fees you pay. So after we have entered those two criterias and selected your category, I am going to hit the search button. So you guys hit search and now Helium 10 will pull up all of the products that is within this criteria. By the way, if you guys are new to selling products on Amazon and you need help with finding winning products, just like the one that I am showing you on today's video, then make sure you get my free training for Amazon in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link, enter your name, enter your email address, and watch the training to the end because you get to apply for a free one-on-one -on -one call with my team and they will walk you through the entire process on how you can find profitable products to sell on Amazon that will give you nice profit margins and that will pay you every single month. So get lots of products. We are looking at about 500 products. Now don't get overwhelmed. We are just going to start at the very 
top. Now, keep in mind, I've been selling for many years, so I kind of already know what makes a good product and what makes a bad product, but I'm going to go over a few products here so you guys know what to look out for. So the very first product I see is a happy birthday decoration backdrop. Now, this product is not one of my favorite go-to products because party decorations, most of them are oversaturated, so I'm just going to skip this product. This looks like a walkie-talkie. We are not selling electronics, skip over that. This is another electronic. This is a Golden Freddy purple hat. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Um, metal buckets with handle, okay metal buckets with handle. But the first thing I notice with this product is that I probably can't differentiate it too much. You guys already know that when you sell on Amazon, your product must be different, right? It must be improved. It must be different. It must stand out. And this is a product to me that is just not really that great. And this seller is already making just under $20,000 per month in monthly revenue. So I think they're already doing pretty well. If I come in here and source my own metal buckets and I make it kind of the same, I won't do as well because, well, there's nothing to really improve here. It's just a metal bucket. This is a dress costume. No, I don't want to sell costumes. Okay, what's this? This is a hexagon dice tray. Okay, I actually never heard of this product. Let's see what we have here. It's priced at $18.99 on Amazon. And this seller is making just under $15,000 in revenue, which is good. That is exactly what we are looking for, right? Scroll over. Shipping details is large standard size, which means that the size isn't too big. So aside from the weight, we put in under two pounds earlier. That's the type of product we are looking for. But we also want to make sure that the size isn't big, you know, because if the size is bigger, you guessed it, you pay more in Amazon FBA fees. And who wants to pay more fees? Not me. So this is just about 10 inches by 10, like very close to 10 inches by uh, 1.3 inches. Super small product, super light, under one pound. Looks like everything checks out. And we are going to just take this product as an example and see what it can do for us. So I'm going to click on it and then this opens up to the product listing. I'm going to copy the main keyword. So when you guys do your own product research, you want to copy your main keyword as well. So a main keyword is just a keyword that describes your product. In my case, it's a dice tray hexagon, uh, hexagon dice trays. So I want to punch it into Amazon because I want to use helium 10 x-ray and check out what's going on between all of these dice tray hexagons. Now, like I said, I'm only focusing on revenue in this tutorial. If you guys want to check out my previous Amazon product research tutorial, it's right here. And I dive deeper into the filters using black box. And I'm more picky with the filters because I was trying to narrow down other search criteria. So going back to this product, I'm just going to take out my Helium 10 Chrome extension you guys will do the same and then pull up Amazon product research. So notice that I did not even spend any time on the first page. All I did was pull up my Helium 10 Chrome extension because everything's nicely laid out. So make sure you guys install your Helium 10 extension so you can look at this data that I see right here. Sort the revenue from big to small. I want to make sure that these are all hexagon dice trays. Now, why did I choose this product? I think I forgot to mention. Well, I can tell that at a glance, I can differentiate this product. There's so many different colors, combinations, sizes, uh, maybe material, I don't know. And this one looks kind of interesting. This is a dice storage case. So there's a lot of ways how I can source this product. Compared to our other product that we were looking at, like a metal bucket, I know right away I can't really do much with this, right? I'm not going to come in here and start putting like polka dots on this uh, metal bucket. It just doesn't make sense. So the very first thing you have to ask yourself when you choose a product in black box is, can I differentiate it? Like, is there a lot of ways how I can sell this product? And I answered yes, obviously, and that's why we are uh, taking the time to look at this product. I can see that this seller right here is one of the top sellers and they are making over $27,000 in revenue 
every month. I want to check out this top seller to see if I even have a shot at sourcing the same product, but of course a better version of this product. So go to your Helium 10 Chrome extension, click on profitability calculator, and let's see how much this seller is profiting for every single unit and overall. So the price point is $13.99 and they bought it for approximately $2.80. Their profit margin is a little on the lower side. It's 24%. Remember, we want a profit margin percentage of 30% and greater. So if I come in here and I source my version of the product, I improve the quality, I try to solve all the problems that are existing with this product, I probably can sell my product at $14.99 or $15.99, which brings the profit margin to over 30%, which is exactly what we want. We don't want a profit margin that is lower than 30%. Now be mindful that when you source your own version of the product, you are not slapping on an extra five to 10 bucks for your product. I see this a lot where sellers source their product and they think, okay, my product is the best, so I'm going to slap on an extra five bucks. And then they complain to me, Tamara, nobody's buying my product. Well, obviously not, your product is expensive. So when you guys improve an existing product that is already on Amazon and you source your version of it, start with increasing the price by one to two bucks and see how the sales go. Once the sales are steady, you can slowly increase the price. That is the biggest piece of advice I can give to you when you do private label on Amazon. You don't want to increase your price insanely high because I bet you nobody is going to buy your product. So far, everything looks great. If this is the price point, I am happy with it. It is saying that it's about $2.80 to source. Let's see how true that is. We are going to go to alibaba.com to see how much it costs per unit. I'm going to type in the exact same keywords, dice tray hexagon, and see how much it costs on Alibaba. So let's keep scrolling down. It's not this product, it's wooden. We have one right here for about $3.90. Nope, too expensive. This one is $1.39. All right, I think we found ourselves a winner. See, that was super quick, you guys. Only took a few seconds. So what I want to do next is contact the supplier, tell them what I want improved by reading the reviews from this top seller. Go to their reviews and see what people are complaining about. Bring those problems up with your supplier so you can sell a better improved version of the product. But this is really good. If I go back to my profitability calculator here, and I type in a dollar thirty nine. Was it? Yeah, a dollar thirty nine. This is going to help us, you guys. A dollar thirty nine. That brings up my profit margin to thirty four percent. So you guys see how quick that was. I did not even have to change my price point. I can sell it for the exact same price. Find a cheaper supplier on Alibaba.com and my profit margin jumped to over 30%. So this is really good news. I am able to afford this product. It looks like it's super cheap to source. It's small, it's light. We have good profit margins after improving the product. We can probably mark it up for a dollar or two higher, which brings up our profit margin even more. This is a good potential product. But if you are still dissatisfied with this product, then you can always go back to the drawing board and look at the other products and repeat all of the steps today to see if it is a product that you want to sell. Now, obviously there are so many more steps when it comes to finding a winning product on Amazon. Make sure you guys do your due diligence. Let's recap everything we talked about today. So the very first thing is to get Helium 10 software, use black box, fill in the criteria and look for potential products that you are interested in. Make sure you guys look at the data on the right hand side to see if it matches everything that we discussed today. Click on that product to go to amazon.com, copy the main keyword, go back to Amazon and type it into Amazon's search bar and use X-Ray to check out the revenue for all of the top sellers. Then we take the top seller, we look at their product listing, look at how well they are doing with their profits, read the reviews, see how we can improve the product, look for it on alibaba.com, look at the price, see if we are satisfied with that, contact our supplier, to fix all of those problems and then sell our own version of the product on Amazon. 
And again, if you guys need help with finding winning products to sell on Amazon, then make sure you get my free training in the YouTube description below. Click on that link, watch my training and book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my team. And we will walk you through the entire process. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.